tiene es que son la gente ahí. Uh -huh. La gente en Suárez, pero en la playa, mis amigos. So do you have a siphon? Sí. Yeah? All I know is we drive down a deserted road and all of a sudden there's a guy sticking a funnel in our car. I have no idea what's going on. No camina. What's no camina mean? It doesn't work? Okay, well. Mi hermano. I guess he's going to get gasoline from this guy. What's that? Cuatro años. You guys want to see my impression of sadness? You want to see my impression of sadness? Sure. Okay. When you get your gasoline, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna do this. I've got the gasoline. It's meeting him. We're from Canada. Here we go. I'm here with Jim Cab TV. I'm here with Jim Cab, and we're asking people about buckets or boxes. Excuse me. Just right over here. We're asking people today about. Oh, jeez. Oh, you're sure you want buckets, right? You don't have much of another option now. The answer is buckets. Am I correct? Yes, sir. Correct, sir. I'm Tom Green. I'm here with Jim Cab TV today, and we're asking the question: buckets or boxes? Our last question that we asked was buckets or boxes. The answer was buckets. Now we're asking the question: will it stick, sir? Will it stick? I think so. You think it will? Yes, it does! Yes, it does! Buckets or boxes? Buckets. Buckets or boxes? We have buckets. Will it stick? It's stuck. Buckets or boxes? Buckets. Will it stick? It's stuck. Enough for a globe? Enough for a globe. Let's try it. Let's try it. We are making a replica of the planet Earth. Africa. Where's Africa? Africa, over here. Over here, Africa. You know the Earth is 90% water, Pierre. We are sending fake sewers and replica manhole covers around our globe. This sewer is going to Japan. It's your lucky day. You're going to Japan. You get to go to Japan. That's right. You get to go to Japan. Around the globe, sir. We are sending fake sewers. We are, we are sending sewers around the globe on Jim Cab. We are sending sewers and we are sending manhole covers. We're sending sewers to Japan. That's correct, ma'am. You're going to Japan. We are sending sewers to Europe. We are sending sewers to Asia. We are sending sewers to Australia. We are sending sewers to Africa. We are sending fake sewers around the globe on an all expenses paid trip. We are sending manhole covers around the globe. Where would you like to go? Where would, where would you like to go? What could they possibly be doing at Jim Cab today? Well, we're sending sewers and manhole covers all over the world. If you know a sewer that wants to go to Asia, it'll go to Asia. If you know a manhole cover who wants to go to Japan, well, guess what? It's going to Japan. Brooklyn, New York. Ah! 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 That, a sewer, I'm a sewer. I've never been to Brooklyn, New York. Uh, I always wanted to go to Brooklyn, New York. What are we doing on Jim Cab today? I don't know who is Jim Cab. What are we doing on Jim Cab today, ma'am? What is Jim Cab? What are we doing? But I don't know what is Jim Cab. We are sending manhole covers and fake sewers around the globe at Jim Cab TV. <laughs> No, yeah. when you talk, I see, we, we went over it and it was exactly the yeah, same Yeah, behind there, behind the doors, you're going nuts, exactly it's fine, you climb the walls. But here, you, you kind of, you're kind of shy. What are you talking you know? about? You're always saying that, and first oh of all, my you, I know you, oh see, God, I know you, you have some little me. thing where you're going to coach, yeah. little thing. Signs. First of all, it's signs. completely ridiculous. Yeah, okay, first well, let's do the thing. Glenn thinks he's going to coach me. I'm going to help you along. Little coach, okay. I'm going to help you along. Because you like the silly faces, right, Glenn? First of all, it's, it's I like because, the silly faces. It's because you like the silly funnier. faces, I just want right? You to be funnier. It's because you I like the. I want you to be funnier. It's because you. <laughs> it's because you like the silly faces, right? Okay, fine. I like the and silly saying, faces. And you're and you're saying to me that there's the nothing wrong with that. But you're funny saying, faces. You're saying that the faces aren't silly enough. No, they're not. Eighty percent funny. You know, Tom, you're an e. idiot. E. See, so that's not funny. That's a funny face. E. E. There we go. There we go. The neck. Get your neck moving. One more. Legs and neck. Legs and neck. That's it. That's it. That's it. 
boy. Lord, Lord. Remember that you're an idiot. Come It's not there yet. It's not there yet. Come on. Come on. Come on. No more. Pop it up. Pop it up. Pop it up. Come on. Come on. Pop it up. Pop it up. Let's be funny here. Come on. Come on. Come on, Tom. Come on. Open the bottle. Stone National Park at Big Ben. Have there been a lot of tourists out today? Hey. Have there been a lot of tourists out today? Tourists? Yeah. At the geyser? Can I stick my head in that? I don't think so. Can I stick my head in that water? I don't I don't think it's safe. It's not safe? No. Why? Never. It's just... too much, too much pressure. <laughs> They're crap in that? No. They're crap in that water that my head was in? No. Would it blow my head off? Most likely, yeah. Is that water powerful enough to blow my head off? Yeah, it's in excess of 80 pounds pressure, so 80 it works. Pounds yeah. pressure. Thanks for it's, letting me stick my head in that, eh? It's a... Uh, no, I didn't let you. you. You did it on your own. That's true, you're right. Good point. Yeah. It's not fun when you stick your head in a sewer, gushing sewer water out of it, is it? It's not sewer water. It's not sewer water? Yeah. Oh, it's a drinking water? Yeah, it's perfectly, perfectly safe to drink. Yeah, it's not water. It's not perfect. Uh, kind of a weird situation right now. This is where I live. And I'm not exactly sure how this came about, but we've invited these cult members over to my apartment. Uh, they're in a UFO cult. We found them on the internet. Uh, a message given to humanity by the people from space. Oh no! Oh no! No, 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 no! no. When the Raelians get here, I'm going to speak with them for about half an hour about the Raelian movement, about this extraterrestrial thing that they believe in. And uh, after that, I'm going to show them this tape 
of this horrific experience that happened to me that struck a chord very deep in my inner psyche. So because I'm having these Raelians over to my home, I figured that I will have to entertain. I will probably have to offer them refreshments. I've just made some grape Kool-Aid for them. Let's just taste it and see how. Not bad. Not bad at all. I think we're going to have a good time here with the Raelians and the Raelian priest. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good. I'm Tom. You're Tom? Yeah. Hi, I'm Roland. Roland. Uh, Roland. This is Marie. Marie. Hi, Marie. How are you doing? This Hi, is, uh, Melanie. Hey, Melanie. How you doing? Hi. This is Ray. Ray's the camera Hello. person. Hi. Come on in. A whole bunch of us, eh? Yeah, Come on in. Yeah, yeah. Wow. It's not even real. It's Kool-Aid, actually, but it's, it's basically grape it's a, juice. You know. Did everyone get one? Everyone have some? Everyone have some Kool-Aid? Okay. Cool. In fact, this guy, this man, is the wor the most important man in the in the world now. So I know that when I'm in front of him. I'm moved because I know also that he comes from, part of him comes from another planet. Looks kind of like Jesus or something right there, do you think? He looks a little bit like Jesus with all the, the lights and the, the nice hair and everything. Does that worry you at all? Does that make you feel weird? No, because you're, you're completely right. Because in fact, you're going to be surprised what I'm going to tell you. But he is the brother of Jesus. He has the same father as Jesus had. Oh no! Oh no! Who are you? I get the feeling that you're not really taking it too seriously. No. You know, if you want to show Rael tape and ask him if he recognizes the alien that attacked me, maybe he saw an alien when he went up into space that looked like that, and he could help me. And maybe he could show Jesus, too. Wow. Well, no. Show to Jesus? Uh -huh. No, because he's not in contact with him. They don't communicate at all anymore? No, no. They uh -huh. no they he, he, he talked with Jesus when he was there. Right. But when he came back, he doesn't uh, talk to them anymore. He doesn't have like a red phone on no. his desk or anything, direct line to Jesus? Not at all. No. Thanks. All right, Bye. See Thank you. See ya. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 I just drank grape Kool-Aid with a cult. That's all I know. <laughs> Let's try pounding some of those nails into that concrete block there. OK. Basically, the way it works, Careful with that, eh? Take your two by four. Take a two and a half inch nail. Has a built-in regulator, so you can regulate your surface here. Cock it onto the work surface and fire. That's a powder actuated tool. Now, not everyone understands how the driving power is controlled by the Guilty piston principle. Can you explain this? Sure can. Why don't I just show you one of our uh, DX tools? This is a DX450, uh, and I can show you the piston driven principle. So the DX is very popular, Joanne, and well proven, but um, Hilti supplies so many more construction related products. Have they always been uh, supplying so many products? No, Hilti started in 1941. Martin Hilti uh, started with a machine shop. You guys carry me in here? You guys That's a fully automatic. That's 10, 10 nails and 10 strips right through. You guys don't care. Just carry me. No, over, over there. Just carry, over, carry me over to the show you're about to see. <laughs> Actually, could you bring me up to the back of the, uh, the back here? The back? Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe this is fine. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. OK, Joanne, so continue showing us uh, some, of, some of the things that this tool can do. OK, also what I've brought with you is a DX450. Uh, mm -hmm. This can uh, shoot both into concrete and to steel.
Well, thanks so much for coming on the show. Well, thank you. That was wonderful. Amazing. <laughs> <I'm enjoying> that. <laughs> Amazing. The Hilti DX. Thanks, Joanne. Thank you. We'll be back in a minute. First, uh, we're going to go off to another. Uh, I don't know. We're going to. I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> So what kind of cigarettes do you like? Camels. They're the best. What do you like about camels? The taste and the smoothness. What's that mean, taste and smoothness? They taste really good and they go down your throat really smooth. No, I mean, no, I mean, what do you mean by smoothness? They go down smooth. Uh, they don't leave a gross, clumpy feeling in your throat. Clumpy? Um, like gross. I don't know, like a, like a leftover kind of tar feeling in your throat. A leftover tar feeling in your throat. Okay, I think I see what you're talking about. But I don't think you should smoke, though. Is it because you're worried about my health? Yes. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. If anything were to happen to you, if you were to get sick and leave this planet, I don't know what I would do. Please, stop smoking for me. Don't leave me here alone. Stop smoking. I love you. I love you, God. I love you, too. Oh. Okay, Glenn, so you're going to buy the ticket. I, uh, well, against my will, against my will. I'm not too pleased about doing this, but... Uh... See, the other night on the radio show, a girl called in. She wanted Radiohead tickets for a Radiohead concert. And um, Glenn, uh, of course, uh, volunteered to buy the ticket for her. No, I didn't volunteer. I was uh, forced. You suck, Glenn Hoplick. Glenn Hoplick, you You were my suck. hero, Glenn. You're not. You were this girl's hero. I don't think I can You're wrong. You were this. Glenn, you were this girl's... Listen, I'm not going to lose Glenn, any sleep Glenn, tonight. You were this girl's hero. She had a crush on you. You're talking about your girlfriend to make her jealous. You're not going to give her $25 for Radiohead, even when I'm offering a, a minus $25 sucker t-shirt out of my own pocket. I would get a t-shirt, then I would buy the ticket after getting the t-shirt. What's say that again? I would get a t-shirt first. Oh, my God. I had that made for you, Glenn. Yeah, I know. And this costs you like what, eight bucks maybe? To get that? I want to buy a Radiohead ticket for a complete stranger, and um, I've been forced to do it. So could I get one Radiohead ticket, please? Sure. My friend's a sucker. <laughs> we call him Moneybags Humplick. Moneybags Humplick. His pockets are deep, and he's not afraid to dig into them. This is where Lindsay, the girl that called our radio show, is apparently spending her evening tonight. We've tracked her down to this community center where she's taking a screen printing course, ironically learning how to make t-shirts, and she doesn't know we're coming. Uh, my friend here is a sucker. Yeah? Yeah. This is Money Bag. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Oh, my God! Hey, guys, help me to dance. I'm not proud of what I'm doing right here. I hope you know that. I don't think you deserve this ticket, but, uh, I got a t-shirt out of it. He's a sucker? There you go. That's a very nice gesture of you, Glenn. Lindsay, now you can go with me. I'm never going to do it again. For 14-year-old... Never again. Glenn? That's a one-off deal. Think of the positive feeling that you get out of this. For a 14-year-old girl, you've sent her to a Radiohead concert that's major. And as far as I'm concerned, it may say sucker on your t-shirt. Yeah. But Glenn Humplick's no sucker.
Okay. Now I'm going to do my dance, my Elvis dance. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> He sings all good songs, that's why. <laughs> why is he doing this? Why is he doing this? No, oh, they're just being jerks. Okay. <laughs> Wait, stupid or what? I don't know. What's my style? Sorry. Dancing. It's my way of dancing, you know? We all have different styles. Well, I'll tell you, so, I mean, at least he's a great singer. He's a good, he's a nice person and great songs. Oh, yeah. What? We'll disrupt your dance if you disrupt their dance. You don't like my dance? Just get You know? You're gonna push it too far. Just get out of here. Not worth it. You guys are crazy. These, these people are crazy. These people are crazy. These people are crazy. These people are crazy. 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 What's the problem? We'll disrupt your dance. <laughs> These people are crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. These people are crazy. Glenn, come on, Glenn, you're such a jerk sometimes. You started all of this. He made me do this. It was his idea. Oh, come on. Okay, so thanks for watching. See you next week. And uh, now let's hear again from Shortfall. All right. Thanks, guys.